Number 11, which expression is equivalent to 10 plus five to the fourth power? So right away, I know that five to the fourth power is gonna be a really big number because that's the same thing as five times five times five times five. So looking at letter A, 10 plus five times four, that's not gonna be big enough because five times four is 20 plus 10 is 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one out. Letter B, using order of operations, we're gonna do 10 plus five in the parentheses first, and then we raise it to the fourth power, which is obviously not gonna be the same thing as 10 plus five to the fourth power. And then letter C is 10 plus five in parentheses, which is 15 times four, which is 60. That's not gonna be a really big number. So without even doing any of the math, I can tell that the correct answer is letter D. Number 12, students at two high schools were asked about their plans after graduation. The table displays the results for 300 students at Henderson High School. The bar graph displays the results for 300 students at Johnson High School. Which statement about the results from Henderson High School and Johnson High School must be true? So the table for Henderson shows relative frequency, which is the same thing as percentage. And the bar graph for Johnson High School does show the percentage. Um, so we can easily compare these two high schools. So letter F says the number of students who selected armed forces or other is greater for Henderson High School than for Johnson High School. So for Henderson, we had 0.16, which is basically 16%, and 0.14, which is basically 14%. And if we add those two up, we should end up getting that that is a total of 30%. For Johnson High School, Armed Forces is 15, and Other is also 15, and if we add those up, we're gonna end up getting 30%. All right, so they're actually the same. Um, Henderson High School is not greater. So we're gonna mark out letter F. Letter G says, college is associated with the mode for each high school. Mode meaning it appears most often. So looking at Henderson High School, college, is 0.38 or 38 percent and that is the highest percentage for that high school so so far we're looking good um, johnson high school if we look at college it's 40 percent which again is the highest or the one that appears most often for that high school so our correct answer is going to be letter g number 13 which graph best represents the relationship between x and y in the equation y equals 3.5 x so if I make a table for this equation and make an X, Y chart, um, if we multiply 3.5 by zero, right, we're gonna end up getting zero. So we should have zero comma zero on our graph. And letter A does start at zero, zero, so that's good. Letter B and letter C do not. Um, and then letter D does start at zero, zero. So we're gonna be between A and D. Next up, let's plug in one. So if I plug in one for X, 3.5 times one is just 3.5. So our Y value is 3.5, meaning we should have a point at one comma 3.5. So checking letter A, if we go to one and go up to our graph, that is uh, 3.5. So I'm thinking it's letter A, let's go ahead and check um, letter D just to be safe. So if I go to one and go up, I'm only getting to about like less than 0.5, so that's definitely not gonna be it. Our correct answer is letter A. Number 14, at a workplace, 153 of the 225 employees attended a meeting. Which statement shows values that are all equivalent to the fraction of employees who attended the meeting? All right, so the easiest fraction to go ahead and make is 153 over 225. All right, we're definitely gonna need that fraction, so we can go ahead and mark out letter G and letter J. All right, now, we need to go ahead and simplify this. So I'm gonna divide both the top and the bottom by three um, to see what we end up getting. So if I divide 153 by three, and that's gonna go in five times with a remainder of three, and then three goes into three one time. Okay, so now I'm gonna have 51 on top, and then 225 divided by three. Three will go into 22 exactly seven times, and that's gonna be 21. 
and then we're gonna get a remainder of 15. Three will go into 15 five times. So our denominator is 75. Now, I already see an answer choice with this fraction, um, but I need to make sure that 17 over 25 is not also a correct um, fraction. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit further. So let's go ahead and divide both top and bottom by three again. So 51 divided by three, three goes into five one time. And then with the remainder of 21, three is gonna go into that seven times. So that's 17. And then 75 divided by three, three will go into seven two times. And again, we have a remainder of 15, three will go into 15 five times. So we could also have 17 over 25, which letter F does have that fraction, okay? Now, we just need to convert this to a decimal and then that should give us the correct answer because these two answers have different decimals. So let's go ahead and divide 17 by 25. Obviously 25 will not go into 17, so we're gonna add a decimal and add a zero. 25 will go into 170 um, exactly six times because 25 times six is 150. That will leave us with a remainder of 20 and I'm not even gonna continue working that out because I can already see that it's obviously not gonna be letter H because its first decimal is a five. So I'm gonna mark it out and that means our correct answer is letter F. Number 15, the dot plot shows the vertical jump height for each of 10 athletes. Which statement is supported by the data in the dot plot? So letter A says the number of athletes with a vertical jump height of 33 and a half inches is less than the number of athletes with a vertical jump height of 37 and a half inches and 38 inches. So 33 and a half has exactly um, two, two dots. So I'm gonna put a two next to it. 37 and a half has one and 38 has one. So together those are gonna have two total, right? But it says that um, one of these was less than the other and that's not true, they're actually equal. So I'm gonna mark out letter A. Letter B says the number of athletes with a vertical jump height of 34 inches is one fourth of the total number of athletes. So let's check that. 34 has one, two, three, four total. And we know that we have a total of 10 athletes. Um, so if we go ahead and simplify that, we can divide both numbers by two to get two over five. And that is obviously not one fourth. So we can mark out letter B. Letter C says the least number of athletes had a vertical jump height of 33. And so 33 inches had two people, right? But obviously 37 and a half and 38 each had one. So letter C is not gonna be true. And then letter D says, the number of athletes with a vertical jump height of 33 and a half inches is one fifth of the total number of athletes. So 33 and a half was two people total out of 10. And then if we divide both numbers by two, we can get one fifth, which matches um, our answer choice. So our correct answer is letter D.